Mode set. Executing. What's up, gamers? It's your boy CD Rhyme 1019. Welcome back to Curse or uh, Tales of Monkey Island: Launch of the Screaming Narwhal. Uh, so, last we left off, we got the Screaming Narwhal, and we just need to. I'm going the wrong way. We got one more act of piracy left to do before we can figure out uh, uh, how to get to Deep Gut. And um, I know what we need to do. I wasn't that off the mark with the uh, with the porcelain pirate figure. Um, I was just looking in the wrong area. So let's <laughs> let's go over this way. So the tar was a good thought, but there's a bunch of these vats of ink laying around here. Which also works. So let's just use that. Pajama Pierre, you foiled me plans for the last time. Prepare to meet your maker in the ebon depths of the inky sea. Sacre bleu. Is this the end of pink pajama Pierre? I guess it's true. Black really is slimming. Alright. Now we have a black ninja looking action figure. So let's make use of this. Let's go back to where we found this hidden treasure. I think we need to go back here. And here's the freshly dug hole right where we left it. And let's put this figure right here. Dark Ninja Day with Killer Katana Cutlass waits stealthily for famed out of shape pirate hunter Joaquin Doro to find him. <laughs> okay, and now it looks like no one was ever here. Let's return to the entrance and talk to Doro here. Uh, hello again. Hi. Stop doing that. <laughs> Okay, good news, your map isn't a ripoff. Great news, Doro. I think your map isn't a ripoff after all. It isn't? But I never found anything with it. You must have been reading it wrong. Here, follow me. And X marks the spot. See? I told you I could find it. Whew. Huh? I better start digging. I hope it's not as deep as the other ones. <laughs> Dark Ninja Dave with Killer Karate Katana. <laughs> Dark Ninja Dave. Dark Ninja Dave. <laughs> Fine. The full set of porcelain power pirates is mine. All mine. Ow. I got dirt in my eye. My ears deceive me, or did that portly pirate just dig up a buried treasure? He sure did, with a little help from Guybrush Threefoot, Mighty Pirate. Well, that's fantastic! We haven't had a good buried treasure story in weeks! You know, Threefoot, you've got spunk. Pirate spunk. Ew. Now, why don't you take a walk with me back to the keel hauler? Tell me a little bit more about yourself. Well, it all started back on Melee Island. And that's how I wound up here on Flotsam Island. Well, I don't know how you did it, Seafood. Thanks to you, I've got enough sordid swashbuckling stories to keep the Flotsam Keel Hauler Gazette afloat for months. That'll show those bozos over at the Times. Yeah, that's, um, great. Now, about Deep Gut. My pleasure, Creepwood. Sit tight while I make you a copy. Copy? Demi, give me a copy of the Deep Gut file. Pronto. Right away, Mr. Nipper King. <laughs> Here you go, kid. Everything you need to know to contact Deep Gut. Don't let anyone know I gave this to you, okay? Uh, my editor will put me on deep cover in the obituary beat. Catch my drift? Not really, but... Right! Now, if you'll excuse me, Ace reporter Davey Nippikin's got some headlines to grab. Finally! Now I can ask this deep gut person how to get off this island and back to Elaine. Hmm. Seems simple enough. Uh-huh. Well, that's not much of a map. Deadline, huh? Sounds like we just go to the left from the jungle entrance and then three paces up if I'm reading this right? Worth a try. Alright, let's go to the entrance. 
Okay, one pace is to the left, and three paces up. Ooh, a, cal a Mayan calendar? According to this, it's Sunday, the 12th of Manatee. <laughs> 12th of Manatee, okay. Yeah, looks like that map was legit. What's the word? Uh, deadline. Deadline. Welcome, Guybrush. Well, if it isn't our friend Mojo. Boy, am I glad to see you. I've got so many questions, LD. Time enough for questions later. But first, hand me the Lachuk Slayer. The what? The cursed cutlass of Kaflu. Now that Lichuk has been destroyed, the cutlass must be ritually dismantled in a soul chilling voodoo ceremony to ensure that his evil never reawakens. Yeah, about that. Um. I tried to destroy Lichuk with the cutlass, but I had to make some last second substitutions, and there were some complications. What manner of complications? Well, the Cutlass didn't so much annihilate LeChuck as it turned him human. What? I couldn't believe it either. Personally, I think it's a trick. A human LeChuck. This is troubling. Can you help me? I'll do as much as the fates allow. But I fear that you will not like what I have to say. Oh, Mojo, I never hear. I never like what you have to say. Let's see. Help me get off Flotsam. Can you help me get off Flotsam Island? I've got a ship, but it won't do me any good with these crazy winds. The cards say no. <laughs> no? Can't you just wiggle your fingers and voodoo schmoodoo the winds to blow out? What you ask is beyond my power, Guybrush. Then what in the name of Satan's comb over are you good for, you bloated old sea hag? Whoa. What was that? That was the Pox of Lechak. Uh, who, who, the what now? The Pox of Lechak. When your improperly enchanted cutlass turned Lechak into a human, all the evil voodoo juju within him had to go somewhere. Were you touching him at the time? I was. Does that explain the antisocial behavior and the crude gestures? Yes, <laughs> some of Lechak's evil has seeped into your hand. Do you have a cure? No, but I know where you can find one. I feel a piratey quest coming on. To eliminate the pox of Lechak, you must seek out La Esponja Grande. The big sponge? La Esponja Grande is no ordinary sponge, Treepwood. It is a legendary sea sponge with incredible voodoo exfoliating abilities capable of absorbing limitless quantities of voodoo mojo. Where can I find it? I have never seen it myself, but a former friend of mine, Coronado de Cava, spent many years searching for it. I last saw him in the Jerkbait Islands. Take this locket to him and tell him I vouch for your character. I'll get right on it after I find Elaine. That would be unwise, Guybrush. The pox of Lechuk must be eliminated before it spreads. Whatever. Hmm. Okay. Need to find La Sponja Grande, I guess. Are you sure you can't help me get off Flotsam Island? As I said, the mysteries of Flotsam are above my pay grade. Seek out others to assist you. Hmm. How about Elaine? Can you tell me if Elaine is okay? Hmm. The view is hazy. Ask again later. Later? But she could be in danger. Or dead. Or worse. I only know what the spirits reveal, Guybrush Treepwood. Yeah, okay, you giant human eight ball. Uh, where's LeChuck? If you can't tell me about Elaine, can you at least tell me where LeChuck is? Without a mark of the voodoo on him, LeChuck's whereabouts are a mystery to me. Uh huh. And how do I stave off the pox? Do you have anything to stave off the pox of LeChuck? This hand is really starting to annoy me. 
The only way to safely deal with the Pox is La Esponja Grande. Hmm. And tell me more about the Pox. What else can you tell me about the Pox of LeChuck? It's a creeping cloud of unstoppable evil, spreading LeChuck's accumulated vileness like a disease across the seas. Ugh. Even now, I can sense the Pox wending its way to this very island. Hmm. And about the sponge? Assuming that I do go looking for <coughs> La Esponja Grande after I get off this island, what else can you tell me about it? It's a giant magical sea sponge capable of absorbing immense voodoo energies. If there's anything that can mop up all of LeChuck's evil mojo, it's the sponge. Okay. Well, tell me about the locket. Tell me more about this locket. It was given to me by my friend. Coronado de Cava. Why do you keep putting dramatic pauses around friend? Was Coronado... Yes, he was my boyfriend. Icky. <laughs> we met in the Jerkbait Islands many years ago. I fell in love with his treasure-hunting mind and his beautiful eyes. He fell in love with my voodoo charms and my supple... La 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 <laughs> la, not listening! Like a volcano! But after several months of ocean steaming passion, our love cooled after he became obsessed with the myth of La Esponja Grande. When we parted, he gave me that locket. Sad and disquietingly graphic. Yeah, um. <laughs> A lot more lewd jokes in this version of the game. Um, let's see. What's your name, anyway? You know, you've been helping me out for years, and I still don't know your name. Names have power, Guybrush Treepwood. Only a fool willingly gives it away. Does my name have power? Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> okay. Um, tell me about the lot. Uh, well, no, I already said that. All right, well, see ya, I guess. Well this has been disturbing, but I've got an island to escape, a wife to find, and apparently a giant voodoo-sucking sponge to hunt. May the fates guide you, Guybrush Treepwood. Hmm, okay. Ooh, a parrot skeleton. Knock, knock. Guybrush, don't. Who's there? No, it's me, Guybrush Treepwood, mighty pirate. It's me, Guybrush Treepwood, mighty pirate. You fool. What? I've spent months crafting a pyrite parrot of Petaluma, and you've ruined it before it was finished. Now I'll have to start all over. Ah, <laughs> uh, I think the game Sorry. broke. <laughs> huh. Well, that could come in handy, I guess. Worst air freshener ever. Hmm. Anything else I can mess with in here? Can you use all the magical gunk in these bottles to cure my hand? The pox of LeChuck can only be cured with La Esponja Grande. What's this machine do? What's this? I recently found this contraption in a swamp. I have yet to plumb its mysteries. Hmm. Nothing happened. That really puts the die in diorama. Okay, I'm creeped out now. Spiffy rug. Is that some sort of voodoo four square court? That is the symbol of the crossroads. The intersection between this world and the world of the spirits. All those who practice the voodoo must make offerings to the crossroads to draw magic into the world of the living. Really? Because I've never seen LeChuck offer up anything to anyone. That is because LeChuck is a selfish abomination. Hoarding voodoo power for personal gain without concern for the natural order of things. Now that he's human, his leftover plundered mojo is oozing around like a disease, clogging the crossroads with its putrescence. Like a toilet. Sure, why not? Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's take this pirate parrot, I guess. Hey, if you're done with this, can I have it? Fine. It's of no use to me now. Who's the studliest pirate in the whole wide world? It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, Whitey Pirate. 
Well, that that won't get annoying. All right, let's leave, I guess. Wait. What? Perhaps I can help you escape from Flotsam Island. How? What's this? That is a bottle containing an ancient scroll left behind by the Vekalians, the former inhabitants of Flotsam Island. Ancient scroll, huh? Do you think it can tell me anything about these messed up winds? Perhaps. But first, you'll have to figure out how to break the unbreakable bottle I've sealed it in. Unbreakable bottle? Why would you do that? Some secrets are too dangerous to fall into mortal hands, Threepwood. Anything else you want to tell me about this scroll in the bottle? I purchased a scroll from a bitter old pirate named Magee. Make of that what you will. An unbreakable bottle, you say? Hmm. What the heck happened here? Hmm. Guess this thing fell off the roof when I had my little LeChuck episode. I should get shouty more often. Hmm. Looks like the wind gods of Flotsam are pointing that away. That could be a clue. Let's go that away. Uh oh. Pox of LeChuck. The Pox of LeChuck? Eh, Pox of LeChuck. Nah, two on the nose, not a pizzazz. Death Cloud is punchy. More in your face, more. Ooh, I'm gonna die. Well, I got sick pirates to interview. See ya. Sick. People are getting sick now? I'm back. Oi, oh, yeah. You are. you are getting sick. What can you tell me about this bottle? Arr, that'd be one of me special unbreakable bottles. Unbreakable? Ha! Ah, there isn't a bottle alive that's a match for my gift for destruction. <laughs> Impressive. The sacred ingredients are those jagged crystal reefs. They're tougher than diamonds. Weird. But what do you do if you want to open one of these unbreakable bottles in order to, say, look at an ancient scroll you cleverly sealed inside? Arr, that's a good question, lad. Here, I'll show you how it's done. I use this little beauty to chip off flakes from the reefs and to crack open bottles like this one. Whoa! So let me get this straight. Your unbreakable bottles are, in fact, opened by breaking them? Don't get cute, Blandy. I break other things too, you know. Uh, okay, well, you help me then? Maybe that's what I need to use the, uh, use the cannon for. Could be overthinking this, but let's see. In any way, it'd be fun to fire either way, so. Yep, like clockwork, he left the bottle breaker here. Yoink. It's amazing how many of life's problems are solved by indiscriminate cannon fire. Okay. Bottle and bottle breaker. Okay, let's break some bottles. Hey, knock it off, hand. Ow. <sighs> Looks like I'm gonna have to get my hand under control if I want to break this bottle. Well, that's a shame. Ugh. Let's see if anything's changed up with the quote-unquote doctor. Doctor's in. Oh boy. Bonjour. Uh. Are you a doctor? Mais oui. I am the Marquis de Singe, former court physician to King Louis himself. And who might you be? Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Zut Your hand. Yeah, I seem to have come down with something. This is fantastic! 
We must investigate at once. Hmm. Très intéressant alors. And you say your sick little hand has a mind of its own? Yeah, it keeps hitting people, making rude gestures, doing all sorts of stuff I'd never do. Well, not without a really good reason, anyway. Fascinating. <laughs> so, can you fix it? Monsieur Sripwood, you have my word as a former physician of the court of King Louis that by the time you leave here, your misanthropic hand will never trouble you again. Okay, well, what are you doing here on Flotsam? So, how did Dazzling Urbanite like yourself wind up in a sleepy pirate island like Flotsam? Ah, mon ami, that is a tale of triumph and tragedy. Many years ago, I was a young physician in the court of King Louis. Those were edited days, tending to the many ills of the aristocracy, navigating the scandalous palace entries. I was a rising star in this scientific firmament. And then? I mean, then? A conspiracy of jealous scientists accused me of performing inhuman cross-breeding experiments with the Queen's poodled! Scientists can be so catty. <sighs> the King was outraged and ordered me exiled on this deserted tropical island. Deserted? Then you were the first? Oui. Happily, my solitude was short-lived, as the merry winds of Flotsam have conspired to bring me many new pirate patients over the years. Hmm. Okay, what do you know about the winds? Scientifically speaking, what do you think is the cause of these crazy winds swirling around Flotsam? Ah yes, the winds. Personally, I'm convinced that they are a rare but perfectly natural meteorological phenomenon caused by a Lagrange inversion of the atmospheric humors in the upper troposphere, causing a counter-cyclonic... Yeah, uh... forget I asked. Incroyable! So, Doc, what's the verdict? Ah, oh, monsieur, you are a very lucky man. I am? Ah oui, the disease spreading through your saucy little parrot hand is like nothing I've ever seen before. That doesn't sound very lucky. In fact, somewhere in that easing appendage may lie the secret to life itself. It may? Hey, nice going, Han. I'll know more after I cut it off. What? Uh... Hey! But of course, Monsieur Sripwood. The only cure for a hand that infected is a quick, clean amputation. Amputation? Isn't that a little rash? No, it's a very big rash, which is why we'll have to amputate. But not to worry, monsieur. Your hand won't feel a thing thanks to my specially concocted rogue anesthetic. Ow. Now, if you'll just relax here a few minutes, I'll be in the back sharpening my petit guillotine blade. <laughs> We don't want to cut off our end with a dual blade now, do we? Well, I guess you have a point there. Au revoir. Hmm. What a loon. At least my hand seems under control for a while. I better figure out a way out of this tastefully appointed abattoir before the Marquis de Crazy Pants comes back. Well, that is better. Um, let's see. So... It's a cute little baby bell. I can't reach it from this position. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hello, little What's monkey. In that box? That's where I keep poor little Jacques. Now that I've nursed him back to health after his terrible ordeal, I'm training him to help out around my laboratory. Can I talk to him? It's the box for Jacques. The Jacques in the box. But I'm Tish. Um, I wonder what that does. That is my experimental food volume, which pulls lightning from the skies via these cute little voles. Why would you do that? Science! It's a machine that uses rodents to make lightning. Okay, that's going to come in handy for something. I can't reach it from this position. Feet don't fail me now. Score one for the pirate with the pointy feet. Okay, I've got a key. I just don't know what I'll do with it. I don't think this key goes with that lock. Ooh. Besides, I don't think my legs will bend that far. I bet you. I hope this works, or I'm about to throw away a perfectly good key. Chuck, bad monkey. After I take care of Monsieur Sweepwood, it's back in the box for you. Listen, monkey. If you and I work together, we can both bust out of this joint. What do you say? Are you with me? 
Okay. Now to figure out what this monkey's trained for. Oh, he changes the slides. Okay. Hmm. Cheese. The rats. It's some sort of foot pedal. I can't reach it from here. This looks like it might do something interesting. Oh, that lowers the cheese. <laughs> Ouch. That looked unpleasant. Hmm. That's the key to Sinju's to lock me down. If only we weren't so far away. Let's see. What else can I play with? I've heard of these. I think they're called microscopes. A professor term in La Jorama. Ah, and I prefer to rip your gizzard out, you snippin' <laughs> sea slug. Whoa, what was that? Uh, cheese block. Okay. Test I tubes. I don't know what to think of test tubes. I really hate tests. But I'm generally okay with tubes. It's a cute little bell. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The monkey play with that picture machine over there. It's a cute little bell that makes the monkey play with that picture machine over there. Okay, I saw that one already. Hmm. Okay. So we're kind of... Let's see. I can make him clap. Can I hit the other pedal? Let's see what this does. Bananas from heaven. Thanks, banana god. I dropped a banana. Okay, now he's over by the rat, so if I hit the shock pedal. <laughs> hmm. Sorry. That knocked the picture down. The monkey knocked over that picture of my hand, but I can't reach it from here. All right, feet. Make yourselves useful. All right. A gross picture of my grosser hand. Things are looking up. Hmm. I think I need to put it in here. I can't reach it from this position. Yeah, yeah. Whoops. I meant to do that. It's a cute oh, yeah. That makes Damn it. Play with that <laughs> over there. Okay, now my hand's on the screen. Wow, my hand looks about 80 times more disgusting when it's blown up like this. What is the point of that? What an amazing device! Ah, I see you have discovered my incredible Illumino Pico screen. It harnesses the power of light to amplify tiny drawings a thousand. Just imagine, someday people will be able to share hundreds of pictures of their holiday travels with their extended families, simultaneously. Fiend! <laughs> Alright, well now what? Um, my hand's on the screen, but I have no idea what to do with that. It's the box for Jacques. Hmm, the Jacques in the box. Uh, yeah, so there's this cutlery here. Bottle rack. If I spent a few dozen years in a university, I bet I could combine these chemicals to create a powerful acid that would make through my bonds. But I'm a pirate, so I'll just say R. <sighs> okay. Alright, sorry Jacques, I gotta keep playing, messing around with you, because I don't know what to do. <laughs> Wait a sec, is he enjoying this? Oh, gotcha. Now I get it. Wow, an electromagnetic monkey. I had a dream like that once. Only it was an iguana, not a monkey. And instead of a key, it was an ice cream cone. Plus, I was in my underwear for some reason. Wow, he seems excited about something. 
Okay, so now I just gotta train him to come back to me. So if I haven't changed the picture to the person on the, uh, on the slide, I bet you that makes him think to come to me. And then if I shock him again... Oh, wait. Sick little monkey. I'm wrong. I need to use the banana pedal. That's it. Come on, you magnificent magnetic monkey. Gotcha! Now, to work the key into the lock. Ta-da! Monsieur Swipwood, what do you think you're doing? Get back on the table at once. Uh, no. Sorry, Doc, but I think I should get a second opinion. Thanks for numbing up my hand, though. All that flailing and slapping was getting on my nerves. Wait! Leaving their trash floating all over the place. Hmm. A parrot hunter. Oh, no. Well, now he's going to get some crazy ideas, but since we're free now, let's uh, break this bottle open. Uh, let's see. This and the bottle breaker. The map is blank. Well, that's no help. I'm going to need to take some time to figure this one out, so I guess let's stop right here. Thank you for uh, watching, everybody. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun, and myself at twitch.tv slash chaoscontrolchannel. And until then, I'll see you next time. So take care. Bye-bye.